Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, transparent typo in Photoshop. First important thing, select a model with a blank background. As you can see, this has a blue background and that's it. Second important thing is select a model which uh, is posing from the front. As you can see, this is from the front. We can cut it in half perfectly. Uh, don't use semi-profile or profile images because uh, that won't give you the great result. Okay, so go to the layer, create a new layer. Click on the little plus, there you go. And we're going to select half of the model's face. Uh, go to the marquee tool, select the marquee tool and I'm going to select it something like this. And I'm going to go with the eyedropper tool which is located here and just select a color from the background. So this is a blue, I'm going to go with uh, exactly the same blue color. I'm going to select the, what is that, paint bucket tool. Usually the gradient tool is on the top, so select the paint bucket tool, click on the image and everything is painted blue. Press Ctrl D so you deselect. Now we're gonna go with some uh, text. Select the type tool, click. And up here you can change the color. I'm gonna go with black so I can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, the font is really small. I'm gonna press and hold Ctrl and then scale it up and press also Shift so it won't distort it. Also, there's a free font you can use. It's called the Champion. See that? I'm gonna go with this one. So usually it puts too much space between the letters and you can customize it by going to the character and here you can customize. I'm gonna go with a hundred and from here I'm gonna go to the layers, deselect the blue and click on the typo. And what we're gonna do now is arrange the typo on the model. So press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift, scale it up. I'm gonna scale it up until the hair ends and scale it here also until the hair ends. So don't go out. So we're basically this is going into the background already. So that, that's not good. Just go inside into the model silhouette like so. I'm gonna activate the background color again. I'm gonna uncheck the typo. Click on the blue uh, background or whatever color you have. Press and hold control and go to the text you've created and press on this little T here. As you can see it highlighted the text. Now go to the select and select invert. From here we're gonna mask this uh, background color. Click on the mask. As you can see we achieved this uh, transparent typo. If it happens that it's a little bit harder or difficult to read what is written there you can create a new folder. Select the marquee tool again and go on the text like this. Uh, select the paint bucket tool, paint it. I mean, not black. I'm gonna select the black color. This is the black. I'm gonna paint it black. Control D. And make sure this black is under the, you know, the blue, the typo which we created. And I'm gonna decrease the opacity to some around, I don't know, 25. So, yeah, mainly this is how you create this uh, transparent effect. Thanks for watching, and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also, check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.